Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an opening cutscene for your game. So if we just go over to cinematics, add level sequencer, and then we'll just call it this cutscene, and this is going to allow us to make the cutscene in our game. So we'll just click save, and then we want to go to track, actor to sequence, and add the cutscene. And then from here, we are going to look for our camera, and this is going to display what's happening in our cutscene. So I'll just move this up. And then again, we want to track this to our cutscene. So we click track, actor to sequence, and then add the camera actor. And I'm going to make my camera as first view be like a top-down shot. So I'm just going to move my camera a bit up and above this map. So I'm just going to rotate it. So then we'll get a bird's eye view of this shot. And then if we just scroll down and just where it says transform, we just want to click that little plus and that'll save the location of our camera. And I'm just going to move this along. So at frame 86, it will do a new shot of our camera. So I'm just going to move this down and then here. And then we can just click that little track button. And now I'm going to do it again. So at frame 118, I'm going to move my camera again and just rotate it. And all along, my camera will move from all the points that we are tracking. And it will save the location, rotation, and scale. So if we just click track. And then I'm going to have one more little thing. So I'm going to move my camera in front of my third person character. So I'll just move it directly in front of him. And then I'll just click track. So now I have my little cutscene, which I want to play. We can also adjust the aspect ratio of the cutscene here. So I'm just going to leave mine at 2.5. And then if we head over to the blueprints and open level blueprint, I'm going to make this cutscene play as soon as the game starts. So event begin play. And then I'm just going to close this level blueprint. And I want to make sure I'm selecting the cutscene actor. And we'll go back to my level blueprint. And I can right click and create a reference. And from here I want to look for play sequencer. And then I can look for play sequence player. And then if we just plug this in, as soon as the game starts, it's going to play my cutscene. So I'll click compile, but I don't want my player to be able to move in this cutscene, so I'm just going to select him, go back to my level blueprint, and right click and create a reference to the third person character. And then from here, I'm going to look for set active, and look for character movement. So if we just select that and leave it unchecked, this will make it so my player can't move while the cutscene's happening. So then I'm going to have a delay for about like 4.5 seconds because that's roughly how long my cutscene is and then if we just track off the third person character in the level we can look for set active again but this time we'll leave it checked and my character will be able to move after the 4.5 seconds in the cutscene so now if I click compile and close this and click play the first thing that happens is my cutscene and then my player and then he can move again that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you have any video ideas, comment them below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.